All right, Mr. Engine, you tell me, why do you think we get married? Well, I, I, I believe we, we, we get married to, you know, to, uh, well, you know, everyone else is doing it, so. <laughs> Wait, so you got married because of everyone else? I just think uh, we get married to show the love of God through our union. Because God is love and there is none greater than love. We are merely vessels to illuminate his light. Wow, unbelievable. To also piggyback what my wife has just said, I, uh, I actually agree. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. We're live with Bonnet and Engine. And uh, Bonnet, I wanted to ask, what advice would you give newlyweds? My advice to newlyweds would... Mommy, let me just impart wisdom here. Yeah? This is my specialty here. Yeah? There are three things you should always remember. Number one, close the lid after you use the toothpaste. Number two, if she cooked it, then it's nice, no matter what. Oh. Number three, let her know where to keep things from the beginning. Because if you don't let her know, you will find your things in the bin every day. You will not even be careful. Yeah. To newlyweds, I say build your house on solid ground. Mm. Not on sand. If you do not pray, you are building on sand. It may look pretty for a little while. But when the winds come rushing in, it will blow your house away. And just to add to that as well, I, I truly agree. Anyway, lads, stay tuned. We'll be back with you live with Bonnet and Engine. Right, I have a question for you, Mr. Engine. Mm. Do you remember the day that you knew that she's the one? Yeah, she was uh, coming out of the shops and uh, <laughs> I saw and uh, I fell to the ground and uh, my, my knees weakened and <laughs> I couldn't actually get up and <laughs> since that day I, I knew this is the one right wow <laughs> that's a new one me I prayed day and night fasting and conquering my river Jordan there was actually a man called Daniel that I really wanted. Yes. But God steered me to the right way to find back kids. Oh. Ah, but you won. Okay. Since you've been married, what is the biggest lesson you wish someone told you prior to marriage? I mean, to be honest, I wish I was told that she makes the worst sadza in the world. Yeah, man, but I try. Ah, my man, it's terrible. What's so wrong with it? You keep buying from those useless shops. Where should I be buying it then? Manaka Fresh Farm Foods. I tell you this every day. Oh, yeah. But of course, you don't want to listen to me. Guys, I think we're getting a bit off track, yeah? I wish I was told to be open-minded. Because you will need to compromise. To sacrifice. Yeah, it is true. And your love will grow when you love with flaws and all. And the only way to love is to love with the love of God. That's incredible. I guess the biggest lesson I can say I wish I was given prior to marriage is that uh, the woman is always right. Ah, apa bagi zama gona utaur siabonga.